quite actually difficult now on a personal level to disrupt what these um, big platforms are doing. The only thing that I think on a personal level we can do is would, would be to confuse the algorithms that they have in, in giving us what is popular and what is recent. Um, because if, if, if enough number of people start liking what they actually disagree with or start liking what actually they uh, dislike, then you wouldn't end up seeing everything that is popular necessarily. You wouldn't end up seeing anything that is agreed by a big majority and by that some minority views would, would also be heard and discussed and, you, we, and we eventually would be more exposed to different opinions rather than the comfort um, uh, zones that uh, many of these uh, social networks are, are creating for us. I think journalism um, Journalistic outlets usually and traditionally had control on three levels of the work, which was, uh, which is, uh, the first one was production of news, uh, publishing the news, and distribution. Um, so these three aspects are now being threatened, uh, especially the the the, um, the last two ones uh, are being threatened by social networks because now many journalistic outlets and even televisions, they don't have control as much as they used to on the distribution of their content and also on their publishing uh, aspects of it, uh, which is becoming quite scary for them. And everyone is now panicking. And it's in the, the third step, in the third um, level where the algorithms come, come in. Um, I think algorithms are necessary because otherwise mm, people wouldn't know what to read and what to watch because there's a saturation of, of content now on, on the digital world and online. So there needs to be a kind of filter for um, uh, evaluating and selecting uh, and picking what might be interesting for you or what might be necessary for you to read or watch. But I think the problem is not with the algorithms in per se. Uh, it's with the current architecture of the algorithms that value recency and popularity more than anything, more, much more than quality and diversity. So I think um, eventually the, the media companies, the media plat um, publishers would have to sit down and together they have to make and create a new platform a shared open source, I would say, an open algorithm um, platform that would give them the ability to have control on the distribution side again and on the publishing side again. Otherwise they would be carried away and they would be uh, completely, they would become completely irrelevant in a few years if they um, just want to appease uh, Facebook and other platforms which is actually taking their control out from from the, the most important aspect of, of their um, journalistic work, which was the distribution and publishing. I think two things should be done by activists and, and um, anyone who cares about these issues. One of them would be on a social level, which would be we need to, we need to encourage and force these companies, the Facebook, Twitter and all that, into disclosing what kind of values or rules are behind their algorithms and then give us as consumers more options to choose between different types of algorithms. One might want more diversity and quality and less video, they, want, they might want more text, uh, they might, everyone might want different things. Um, and you, it's, a, it's a tyranny that um, Facebook decides that everyone needs to see more videos and everyone needs to see more kind of um, popularity based kind of posts. So I think that's even part of the, mar the free market um, ideal in a way that they need to give consumers more options when it comes to algorithms. That's one thing to be campaigning for. The other would be to encouraging um, the states and governments intervene um, to intervene in, in, the, in the process of um, designing and writing these algorithms because now they are controlling aspects of lives that in a democracy 
is guaranteed for a representative government. And because now the private companies are taking that space, it's become challenging to the, to the very idea of representative democracy. So I think that's also another aspect that I think everyone needs to be um, talking and discussing and encouraging the states to intervene.